Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22 on uh, the Silver Run Forest map. I am just about loaded up with the 12-meter trailer. And um, probably one, maybe two more uh, thick logs will do the trick. Let's see what's going on here. There we go. Oops, darn it, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Crash. Sometimes if I hold X down, it'll it'll cut it and then strip it. So you really I just really need to tap X. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, we've made pretty good progress. Um the my the border of my land is at that creek and then up to the lake here. And um so as far as the the 12 meter logs go um what I, what I've been doing is I've been I need to get that up in the air a little more All right, hold on. What's going on here? Oh, we're stuck on a stump. Seriously? There we go. Um, so what I've been doing is, well, the first thing I'll say is that you kind of want really big trees for the 12 meter lengths. And that, you know, that probably is obvious, if, but if it's not, with the small trees, you know, you only have maybe one 12 meter length out of it. And then the rest of it, depending upon you know how tall the tree is what I've been doing if you look over in front of the Mac there I've got a, a smaller pile of six meter lengths and so what I was doing is if I couldn't get two twelves out of the tree I'd do, I cut a six and then the tip I just you know take over to the chipper pile we need to set this to 12 meters here too there we go uh, okay So this one, I think we'll get it. We should get another 12 out of this. Yeah, we will. So basically, you know, you want big trees. And here, you know, we're going to replant this property. And then in three in-game years, we'll be able to come back. And, and if I plant, like, say, all spruce trees, for example, or all ponderosa pine or whatever, or maybe we'll do a mix you know of those three and they're all fully grown big hues you know 35 and a half meter trees then the 12 meters are going to really make a lot of sense but when you have such a hodgepodge of different lengths of trees like you do you know like we do on our first cutting here um it's not uh I, i'm not convinced that it's more efficient i guess is what i'm saying to do it this way as opposed to doing two six meter lengths or two, tra two containers of six. Now, the one nice thing about it is I don't have to futz with two containers. I put the one big container on there. I don't even I need to bring the forklift up here. And so, you know, that's definitely a plus. And, you know, the other thing too is when we, when we sell this, if we, you know, if we're clearing 100,000, then, you know, that's another consideration too. Turn that off. I think that these last two logs will probably fit the bill here. The other thing I was considering is maybe trying a little bit of a of a smaller fork. I mean, you know, this claw is so huge. And I, I'm gonna keep it, and I want to, you know, I'm gonna want to use it again. But maybe it might be just a little bit overkill for, you know, this smaller operation. And so we might try a smaller, um, 
grapple that's you know that's designed to be you know used with front loaders. I mean, it does work. It 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 does work. And I love the fact that I can you know pick up multiple logs in in one grab instead of one at a time. But you know it's just so big is the thing. So. that in there and and that looks like she's full okay so you know doing all the extra futzing around with the the longer lengths and the tips and the six meter lengths I this this wasn't faster <laughs> I mean it took me about as long to do all of this as it would have been I think to do two six meter trailers maybe not quite that long but it wasn't significantly faster we'll put it that way oh you know what though look at this okay no that's right this has 44,000 liters the other trailers had 21 7 so that's 42 43 4 so we actually do have um we do have a little bit more wood in in this trailer which is kind of interesting Anyway, let's go ahead and take it down to the sell point. I'm assuming that we want to go back to the container place. 22.19. Yeah, that's still the best price. And uh, see what we get for it, and then we'll go from there. I definitely think, like I said, I, I think this is going to be the way to go. Ah, oh, crap when we have a bunch of big trees. Let's back out of this way. There we go. It's been raining for the last, I don't know, in-game hour or so too. That is very typical of the Pacific Northwest. Well, especially along the coast, west of the Cascade Range. Rains a lot there. Hey, look, there's a puddle on the road. How interesting. I don't remember seeing that before. That's a nice little detail. Yeah, look at that. There's puddles on the road. How about that? <laughs> cool. At least I'm pretty sure those weren't there before. It, it's really cool. It, the only thing I would say is it's too bad they all look exactly the same. It'd be nice if there was some variation in them. But it's still neat that, you know, that we just have puddles on the road. Look at that. Blue River. Neat looking. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. 87,000. Wow. If I don't mi miss my guess, that's probably the lowest I've gotten. I don't think I've gotten less than 90,000 from the six meter trailers. Well, that's uh Man, look at those sequoias, aren't they beautiful? That's uh, a thing. <laughs> that is definitely a thing. There was there was only one log that I put in there that was not quite 12 meters, but the, you know, I'd say 98% of the rest of the load was Okay, um, I suppose we could try a 9 meter trailer, but yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I, I need to do a little bit more uh, research on it, but I think for now, you guys, I think I want to go back to the 6 meter trailers because I've made the most money to date on the 6 meter trailers. You know, the other interesting thing, too, is that trailer 
had more volume in it. So why in the world do we get less money? <laughs> Don't know. I can't explain that. Can't explain it. Um, okay, so let's see. What are we going to do? We're going to go back to the store and get some more containers. I was thinking about maybe doing some uh, some work. Here, get out of here, slowpoke. <laughs> uh, maybe doing some work on the property. Uh, st some stump grinding and get rid of some of the brush. Maybe make an access road. I'm just not sure if I want to do that right now or if I want to wait until I completely clear the place. It would be nice to get some some stumps out of the way. If we do that, we're going to want to either purchase or lease a... Uh, okay, so that's changed. A forestry mulcher. I don't want to do it with the, the little stump grinder from the skid steer. So let's go back into forestry equipment. And this mulcher is a 1.8 meter, 180 horse mulcher, which means it's too big for our tractor. We might need to do something about that too. I, I wanted to try my hand at a, a feller buncher too uh, but i think we need if we were going to do that i would want to use the uh yeah let's go into here i would want to use this and what you do with this if you don't know is this you go you cut trees and you can cut like a couple of trees this thing grabs it and then you drive the trees back, you know, to, to the landing site, but it doesn't cut them into lengths or strip them. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, I, I just like to try it at some point to see if I like, if I like doing it this way better, but I think the harvester, it seems to me like the harvester is still the, the way to go because the harvester cuts it into lengths and strips it. Um, but it might be interesting to try that. Here's a skitter. But again, I mean, it's got a nice blade for pushing logs and stuff on the back, but I, I, I think I would rather use a winch and or a yarder before I would want to use a skitter because it might be fun to try at some point though. Oh, you know what else I need to do? I need to, I need to repair my harvester because it's in pretty bad shape. Uh, anyway, okay, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. Uh, let's go back into here again. And we want to go back to forestry equipment. Okay, so I've used this guy. Uh, this is a 2 meter several times on Elm Creek. This is a 2.3 meter. So I don't know, man. I mean, for, I think that's, those are our only three options for forestry mulchers. It's a 1.8 meter. Um. This thing is like almost twice as much money for 0.3 more meters, and it's a 200 horsepower requirement. Oh, you know what? This would work on our tractor because it's only a 150 horse requirement. So, yeah, I don't know. It, it seems like I, I don't get it. For twice as much money, you get 0.3 more meters. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So why don't we grab this? And I think I'm, do I want to buy it? I mean, we're always going to need a forestry mulcher, uh, you know. Yeah, I, I'm going to buy it. I, I think I am going to buy it. Let's just do it. We got. We can certainly afford it. Let's just buy it. And then, you know, maybe if one comes up on sale, we can swap it out at that point. Okay, so that'll work with our tractor. Um, Just out of curiosity, though, what would it cost us to lease a little bit bigger tractor? So if we went into mediums and we did something like um how about I want something kind of around the 200 this is the this is one of my tractors on Elm Creek the X7 
This has this comes with 210 horse. How much would it cost to lease this? Nine thousand dollars. Okay. The thing is, is we can't put the mulcher on the front of our our Volvo tractor because it doesn't have a front mount. So that means I'm gonna have to back up to do everything. Yeah, there is a there isn't a front mount on that. How much here's another question I suppose. How much would it cost to just sell our tractor and and then take the money and make it go towards buying a new one? Yeah, we can get 41. We well, we'll get more than that because we'll bring it into the shop and fix it up. I think I might like to do that. I mean, this has actually been a really cool tractor. We've we've gotten pretty good use out of it, but I'd like something with more horsepower and something with a front mount. So I think I want to do that. I think we're going to sell that. You know what, too? Thinking maybe we sell this because I don't know if I'll ever use it again. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could. Yeah, nah, I, I'm going to hang on to it. I'm going to hang on to it. The other thing we might want to try, too, is we might want to try the smaller um, yarder. The thing about the yarder, though, is, yeah, it could come in handy, especially when we're working on the other side of the, the pond. I'd like to try it, you know, regardless. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and we are going to purchase. We're just going to buy ourselves a medium tractor. That's all there is to it. Um, so let's just decide which one we want. We got the John Deere 7810 there. I'd like to get something, you know, that I'm not using on Elm Creek just to mix things up. So, ooh, that would be nice, the, the fast track. I love this tractor, uh, and it does have a front and a rear mount. What kind of um, front loader attacher? Now we did. How much would that cost? Fifteen hundred bucks to get a front loader attacher. I mean, that could come in handy, but probably not. Ooh, look at that! Look at that, man! Dualies. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and then if we switch to BKTs, those are wide BKTs, but we can't get dualies with those. I like those wide tires, but I don't know, the, the dualies looked awesome. Those are Midas. The bat, the downside to the dualies, though, is it's going to be harder to, to kind of get around. So I think maybe we just go with wide tires. And if we're going to do that, let's do the BKT. Well, what's the Michelin's look like? Oh, those come in twins too. We'd get really good traction with the dualies though. Hmm. Michelin dualies. Let's go for it. <laughs> let's just do it. Why not, right? Let's just do it. Um... Except for I don't have enough money to do that yet. So we are going to need to sell an, another batch of logs before we get this. But if you guys have been watching my Elm Creek series, you know I've been wanting this tractor for a long time. And maybe this is a good time to get it for this series. Okay, but obviously, again, we can't do it yet because we don't have enough money. I could always take a loan out, I suppose, again, because you know we'll be able to pay it off real quickly. Um, think, think, think. Okay, so... I want to look at... That's going to give us... Okay, that's going to give us 235 horse. For 216. How much is the Voltra if we get the maximum horsepower? 247. But that gives us 300 horsepower. Um, some of these Voltra tractors, too, you can 
you can actually drive backwards. Like you can turn the seat around and, and drive out the back window, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, reverse driving. See, it's got like a little wheel in the back. That's really neat. How much does that cost? Another 15,000 bucks. It's kind of a nice looking rig. Um, it's not as cool looking as the JCB, but it's got a heck of a lot more horsepower. Three point front mount. What are the other options here? Oh, a weight. Okay. No, I think I would want the three point on the front. Lots of options there, huh? Um, panorama window stowage setup small. What is that affecting? I don't even know what that means. I, I, I don't see anything change with it. Interior setup. That's black with like a gray trim or just black. Yeah, I like the gray trim. Oh, no, we don't need GPS on it. Wheel setup. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Dooley's baby. Um, what brand though? Oh wow, look at those tires. BKT. BKT twins. Where's Michelin? There's Michelin twins. Okay, we're up to two hundred seventy-three thousand dollars. So now, now we're beyond another load. <laughs> but we were gonna sell the other tractor though. That thing is amazing. All right. Well, here's the thing. What's the roof setup? Skyview. That's cool. But there's already, there's already a, a little bit of a sunroof in it, though. Anyway, so. All right. So, yeah, we're going to. How much would it cost to lease this? $13,000. You know, I do have. Now that I think of it, I do have the lease to own mod. That's a thought. Yeah, and you know the other thing too is if I lease it, I might not like it. I mean, I probably will, but you never know, right? Why don't we lease it? And that way, if I decide I don't like it, you know, um, we can return it, and we're not out as much money. And if I do like it, we'll just lease to own. So I think we're gonna do it. There, it's been done. <laughs> Um, did it give us an option to change? Oh, it did give us an option to change the rims. Darn it. I should have paid attention to that. What are, uh, what is Onyx black? Ooh, that, I like that. I like that. But you know what? We can change that in the, in the settings, man. I didn't get my JCB, but that's okay. We got a tractor that has way more power than the JCB. Look at that thing, man. Phantasmagorical. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is let's hop in our new tractor here. Oh, this thing is cool. <laughs> okay, we're going to need to drive the... I've even got a side window wiper. How How cool is that, man? Uh, we're going to need to drive the Volvo tractor down here, get it repaired and sell it and we'll recoup uh, some of that money. But I want to go back into here and customize. Wait, why can't I customize? It's not giving me the option to customize. Oh, is it because it's a lease? Oh man, I'll bet you that's what it is. Okay, well, we'll just stick with the white rims for now. got some power here baby
Okay. Put that down. Alright, what we're going to do with this guy is we're going to send him home because we still need to load up our containers for our next load. Uh, yeah, so head on home. I'll see you up there. Look at that tractor, man. That is awesome. Okay, so yeah, let's get, uh, let's get our next container loads on. So we want to go here. Uh, objects, containers. We're going to go back to the six meters. I mean, I suppose we could try a nine meter and just see how much money we get from it. But my guess is it's going to be probably around 75,000 ish, which is in between the six meter and the, the other. So I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to research that a little bit more before I try the nines. Cause maybe the nines aren't even worth it. Okay. Let's try a color we haven't tried yet. How about we go with this blue grayish blue gray color. Okay, so we'll buy that, and we'll buy that. Hey, you know what I could do? Um, no, never mind. I don't want to do that. I was going to say, I could have the AI drive um, the... Why do I keep forgetting my tractor? But the Volvo down here, but it's got the thingy attached, the winch. I don't want it to bring the winch down here, so... All right, guys, I'm going to get these trailers loaded up, and I'll see you back at the property. And we're probably going to do a little bit of work with that forestry mulcher before I get back to logging. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and raise this guy up. The goal here is to do three things. Remove most of the brush, remove stumps, and make ourselves an access road. does you know tear the crap out of the ground but I will uh, retexture it when the time comes oh uh, yeah that gets rid of those stumps so much faster than the stump grinder that alone makes this worth the price of admission you know I got to thinking too I think we're gonna keep the Volvo tractor we don't since I'm doing the lease to own we don't need to we don't actually need to sell it. Oh, darn it. You know what? I forgot to, to get the the yarder. I want to try that, too. Maybe we'll do that in the next episode. So many things to do, so little time. I'm just sort of kind of randomly going through and thinning out the brush. I, I, again, I'm not planning on removing all of it.
Okay, I want to... I'm gonna make an access road. We don't need the, the access road right now, per se, but we will later, um, once I replant the trees and they grow. So if I get the road in now, then when I do plant the trees, I'll know not to plant the trees on where the road is. Okay, let's just leave the truck here for now. So we're basically going to start it probably right about here and take it straight up the hill. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, and yeah, I know I could also just do this with the landscaping tool, but by doing it this way, we'll clear out any stumps and brush in the way. Uh, I don't think the landscaping tool can clear stumps. It clears brush, but not stumps. And this, this way is more fun. <laughs> I just wish there was a larger version of this. Hey, actually, you know what? I should look on Mod Hub. Maybe there is. I've never looked for that before. I'll get that stump later. dead tree it is let's just let's just eat it it's not worth anything to speak of oh maybe it, maybe it can't take it down it might be too big Yeah, okay, never mind. Then, that being the case, let's, uh, let's take it down with the harvester. Oh, I wasn't supposed to teleport. Oh, well. <laughs> Yeah, that, that thinned the brush out pretty good. And then I'll, I'll go through with the landscape tool and, you know, fix it up a little, make it look a little nicer, add the forest floor texture back to it. Probably remove a few more, uh, a little more of the brush too. But again, it's not my intention to take all of it out. It's just, it was so thick that I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to con it to continue that way. And then again, when, like I said, when we replant the trees, we'll make sure we don't plant them on this road. So that way, uh, oh, there's a stump there. We'll have it be our service road coming into the back 40 here. Have I been dragging that the whole time? Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh man, I seriously got to repair this thing. Yeah, it's like completely damaged. Well, not damaged, but the durability is completely gone on it. Okay. How come you're not targeting that, man? I don't know, but... That's good enough to cut it.
the other thing we need to do is we need to get a chipper up here we need to deal with all this uh, scrap wood and then I want to make my scrap pile a little closer as we get further away well see that's where a yarder is really going to come in handy though because we can still stay and work out here and have the yarder just bring the logs to us but even so this still isn't the ideal place for all this stuff so what is this set to uh, let's set it back to six meters It's too bad there wasn't like a firewood option in the game, you know, uh, to sell. And then you could use the deadwood for that. That'd be fun. Deadwood makes great firewood as long as it's not rotten. Okay. Let's just park you over here for now, I suppose. Okay, let's keep working on our road here. Oh, I got the turn signal on? Yeah, I do. My head tracker's all messed up from... I think I banged it or something. Look at this thing, man. Gorgeous. Beautiful tractor. Okay. to remove that rock with the jackhammer thingy me do thingy me doodle um, we're gonna hit the invisible wall in a second anyway it's gonna be right there okay Okay, let's just, uh, let's go back now, back down the hill. I'm just going to take the road to the, to this stone for now. Okay, let's turn that off, and I'm going to do a quick save here, and then let's get into the build menu. Okay, let's go to landscaping and painting. <coughs> um... What is that? That's animal mud. Asphalt, flagstones, forest ground, grass, gravel, sand. Probably gravel is what we want here for our road. There we go. I'm liking that. While we're here, 
let's go over let's get this forest ground texture and kind of start cleaning some of this up I like this this texture here but uh, I don't see it as an option for us that says grass oh okay that's so that's just like a base grass kind of thing um, that's sand which we don't want to use well I, I'm I like this for the most part. I think it's um, it looks good. Do we have like really small plants? What does that look like? Oh, it's a fern. Yeah, that's cool. What's this? All right, that's different. Flowers in here and there. Uh, how big is that? Yeah, those are like little bushes. I don't want to go crazy with this because it is costing me some money. I like these little plants here, this little ground foliage. Um, is it this here? Let's make that a little bit bigger. This is expensive, man. That's again, though, it's too bad I couldn't, I can't recreate this this ground that because i like that but i mean you know once we plant the trees and they start growing back up again this will this had to look pretty good in here i think nifty all right you guys well let's see here um those plants look good I do more of them, but they're so darned expensive. I mean, it's a hundred bucks a pop. It's a little ridiculous. Um, I, I think I'd like to try uh, in the next episode try the yarder out, and we could, you know, since we're not dealing with enormous trees, we could try the smaller one. Let's see what the price difference is. What's the difference between this? That's a 6.6 .6 ton winch. That's an 8.6 ton winch. But look how much, oh man, look how much more money that is. Um, okay, so this is the yarder that you can put on the back of a tractor. And it's $38,000. The big yarder, which we will eventually get, um, is $95,000. But again, we could. what we could do is, is lease to own um, this and just get it. We can go out to 840 meters and haul three tons with this. And it's its its own. It doesn't require a tractor. But why don't we start with the small one first, and then, you know, we can work our way up to the larger one later. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of research on Mod Hub and see if I can find a forestry mulcher that's wider uh, that we might be able to use in the future too. And yeah, oh, and the chipper, yeah. So how much does this thing cost to to lease? We we're gonna want it's nine thousand bucks. Okay, we're gonna want this too because I mean, yeah. So I think what we'll do in the next episode is we'll try the yarder out. We will and we'll get the chipper. And was there a third thing? I can't remember. Well, we'll do those two things for sure. <laughs> um, 
so yeah i think that is it guys for this episode thank you very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and look at this gorgeous machine it's awesome see ya